I still have a lot of great friends there, but they know I want to kick their butt this week. So they'll, they'll know exactly how I'm feeling once I'm out there. There is a time and place for Tom Brady to get sentimental about his playing days in New England, but this weekend is not one of them. You heard it right there. The dude is ready to smash some buns back at his old place of occupation. Ben Murphy out there at One Buck Place covering the Brady press conference. And Ben, how is the GOAT handling the hoopla around this contest everyone is talking about? Okay, Evan Klosky, there are two parts to this. The first, the part that Tom Brady has been emphasizing all week. He gives 100% every single week so when you give 100 percent every single week how can you give more for one specific week now that doesn't impact the feelings that are going to flow when he gets to the stadium when he runs through the tunnel when he sees belichick and the patriots fans on the other side and i think he kind of knows that yeah brady helped bring six super bowl rings to new england now they have a new quarterback in town with mac jones has tb12 been checking in on the new guy trying to carry that franchise when you spend 20 years at a place, it clearly means a lot to you, and it meant a lot to the fans to have him for that time period and have as much success as they did. So Tom Brady's successor has a lot of weight on him. Has Tom been watching Mac Jones? I haven't seen him much at all. Yeah. Boy, would it be a scene if Tom Brady lost to the rookie quarterback at Gillette on Sunday, Evan Klosky. Yeah, Brady with a lot of opinions there. Thank you so much, Ben. Kickoff for the game. 8:20 Sunday night, but way before that, I got something for you to watch. How about the Blitz with our guy Simeon Rice? We will break down all the nooks and crannies surrounding this game. Sim is going to also talk about that addition of Richard Sherman to the roster. It's all right here on 10 Tampa Bay at 11:30 in the morning Sunday.